this is a DCS Puccini CD player, SA CD player. It's definitely my reference. It's sticking around for the long haul. Underneath it, we have the Pass Labs XB20 preamp, and this is the power supply for the preamp. And uh, I really, 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 really like that. Because so I also have Pass uh, amps, which you'll see later. And then over here is my newest piece. This is an SME 15 turntable. It is a belt drive turntable. I know you don't see the belt, but there is in fact one with a Lyra Delos cartridge. And then that's being fed into a Parasound JC3 Plus. This is a Magnapan 0.7 speaker. And it came out about two years ago. Uh, it's a full range ribbon speaker. It's affordable, certainly by high-end standards. It's $1,400 a pair, made in Minnesota by Craftsman Who Care. I've watched them actually make Magna Pans there. It's pretty amazing. And it's, it's such an open, unboxy sounding speaker. It's definitely uh, a real value, uh, certainly in high-end audio, hard to beat for the money. Next, we have a Zoo Audio Druid speaker made in Utah and th this is a full range driver, a 10 inch full range driver with admittedly what's called a wizard cone. But there's also this tweeter or more likely a super tweeter that really comes in at about 10K. And it's a great speaker. It's super efficient. It's really, really dynamic. It's a fun speaker. I think all Zoo speakers are. I've reviewed and lived with many and uh, I think this is an incredible speaker. Everything in this speaker is made in the United States. The drivers come from uh, Virginia. The tweeter comes from California. The base is one chunk of machined aluminum that's done actually right near Zeus Place in, in Utah. And I just love these speakers. It's also unusual that they're a 16 ohm speaker, so they, they're uh, really happy with uh, tube amplifiers. And then last but certainly not least in this little parade is the TAD ME1 Micro Evolution 1. It's made in Japan. It's their new, uh, funny to call it this, bottom of the line speaker. Uh, it was, it started uh, originally designed by Andrew Jones. Andrew Jones was still with TAD when the speaker was initially under development. It has a concentric mid-range tweeter as I think all TAD speakers do, um, and a woven woofer. It's an amazing speaker. It's imaging and just, it's luscious sounding. It just draws me in in ways that I've never heard from a relatively small speaker. Definitely a permanent part of my system. Well, at least it is until they take it back. The Bell Canto Reference 500 stereo amp. Underneath it, is the first watt F7, which is a new design. Then underneath that is the first watt J2, which has been around for a long time. It's actually, I think, the best-selling first watt amplifier they've ever made. And then, last but certainly not least, is the Pass Labs XA100.5 Class A 100 watt mono amp. So there's another one of these over there. Here we have the shit audio, and I'm not cursing, Bifrost DAC. It's killer. Underneath it is a Pass Labs HPA1 headphone amplifier. They are magical together. I'm Steve Guttenberg. Thank you for watching.